when the dirt road starts in the Port Precinct, we've got this lovely space where everything just sort of slows down. If you'd have said to me a couple of years ago, this is what you're going to be doing, I would have said you're absolutely mad. I felt I was quite shy and found it difficult speaking to people. My first day of opening the gallery, I sold my first painting and they hadn't even been hung on the wall. So that was such a big buzz. I now run my own gallery here in Echuca. This will stop means somewhere small and of course the building is a small whistle stop. This building was formerly Strathmerton Station. It's a heritage listed building, uh, so it has its original colours. It's certainly got the most beautiful light that you could ever want for artwork. I love that sound. It's the most comforting sound. I don't know what it is, but it's very comforting to me. And I love it. It's the meeting of the whistles. I hear the whistles of the trains and the whistles of the boat. It's often hard to distinguish which one's which. I don't work, I actually play all day and talk to people, which is just wonderful. It's a lovely, lovely experience. So it's basically just canvas and then frayed. They're made from clay. I glaze and fire them myself. Individual pieces, there's no moulding. To show whatever happens around the river. A little bit of magic happens in an artwork and then somebody recognises it. They've got wonderful memories of their time in Echuca by just coming into my little gallery, <laughs> which I'm thrilled about. People that walk into the Discovery Centre can see a very large painting. What they'll be seeing when they're on the boat. It's a lovely thought knowing that your pieces are going to outlive you.